just two days away from the coronation of King Charles. Preparations are underway in London. And people are already camping out, getting ready for this historical moment. And let's check back in now with Nicole, live in London with all of the excitement. Nicole. It is a very exciting time here in London. It was a beautiful day today, no rain. And if you know London, it almost always rains. So it was a very nice sunny day today. So many people out here tonight. And if you see Big Ben behind me, they're doing projections on Big Ben until Sunday for the coronation. So all around the city, it, they are getting ready for this coronation, this big day. Charles will be the 40th monarch crowned with customs dating back almost a thousand years. We have not seen a coronation since 1953, his mother's, Queen Elizabeth the second. It's been 70 years of Charles waiting to wear that crown. The theme of the coronation called to serve. The UK getting ready to officially crown its king. My mum was here in 1953 so I felt I had to come back and uh, walk. Well she was actually camped out on the mall so I thought it would be nice just to come and see where she was. Harry! Rehearsals happening days in advance outside Buckingham Palace. Royal watchers coming from all over the world to witness history. Just wanted to see this uh, city and to see this coronation because I am a big fan of royal families. Please, if you wish to take photos, take it as you will. Outside palace grounds, hundreds of people taking in the sights before the big day. It's very special because I was three when the last queen was, was crowned. So I, this is the first coronation that I've experienced as an adult. The city is bustling with excitement. I really appreciate that he's so open to people and that he uh, pay attention to different uh, religions and he's focused on ecology as well. The streets lined with decor and merchandise celebrating the new king and queen. He's earned his position. He's born into the role. Um, I think that he's of an age now where it's got to be done sooner rather than later and he deserves this position. And I think Camilla is very grounded. She's um, great as a counterfoil to Charles and um, you know, they can make a good team together. It's been 70 years since the last coronation. Queen Elizabeth II had hers in 1953 when Charles was just four years old, making him the first heir to see his mother crowned. It's a big celebration for the country, so yeah, we're for it. We think the royals uh, earn their keep. So while there is a lot of excitement for Coronation Day, we did speak to quite a few people who wanted to know more about the future of the monarchy. So we'll get into that a little more coming up at 5 o'clock to see what Charles and Camilla have in store for their reign. Calvin and Eden, I'll send it back to you. Okay, speaking of excitement, I understand uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales were not far from you today. That's right. Prince William and Kate, they were in Soho, all smiles, greeting fans. They went to a pub called the Dog and Duck. It was a surprise visit, so a lot of people were very excited to see them there. Prince William even tried his hand at bartending for a little, so it was a very exciting trip for them. They were there to support the hospitality industry. A pleasant surprise indeed. All right, Nicole, thanks so much. We'll check back in with you in our next hour.